All right, hey everybody, this is for um, regular clients, this video, for you guys, all right, my regular clients, my veterans, the ones I've been with for a while. Um, one thing I want, the first thing I want to address in this video is, number one, um, I want to say thank you for all you guys sticking around with me for a while, even after the challenges and everything, and really just being a great part of this program, okay? So I'm trying to make sure. There we go. Ah, oh, it's much better. Um, so, listen. I want to say thank you. If I don't say enough, I'm sorry, or if I have not said it at all, but I appreciate every single one of you, okay? Um, you all work hard, you all come in, you do what needs to be done, and you guys represent me very well, and I appreciate that. Um, secondly, um, I've gotten a lot of questions about nutrition, all right? Um, mainly from the people that have done the challenge before and are trying to still do the challenge nutri uh, diet when it doesn't call for it. Okay, listen, the challenge nutrition, the six-week challenge nutrition is meant to elicit a big response in a small time. Okay, it's not meant to sustain you for the rest of your life. There's no way that's going to work. Okay, um, so what you have to do is, and, and, and I know I, I plugged the file in to the Facebook page, is read the stuff I wrote out for the nutrition seminar. Look at the videos. If you need to, I will post them again or I'll email them to you, whatever, so you guys understand how to do your nutrition. All right? Listen, I've been beating this dead horse since just about every single body, every single person stepped in front of me. Okay? You will get nowhere, anywhere, unless your nutrition is sound. Okay? If that's not sound, don't be surprised if you gain a pound. Don't be surprised if you don't lose anything. Don't be surprised if you gain inches. Okay, that's what's got to be done. There's no going around it. There's no, well, maybe if I have a shitty day and then I can work it off and on. Uh, no. All right. Yes, you can. Uh, let, let me backtrack on that one. Yes, you can have one bad day and still be able to recover a few things within the next week, week and a half for the next measurement and weigh in. But if all you're doing is dieting down to the next weigh in or measurement, then that's wrong. Okay. Remember, you're here to improve your health and fitness. Plan out, number one, top of the list. That's why you're here. That's why you hired me. That's what I'm doing for you. Okay? If all you're going to do is just try to, like, repeat the same cycle day in, day in, out, week in, week out, and only really buckle down three days out from a weigh-in or three days out from measurements or something like that or starve yourself just to make yourself feel better. Oh, wow, I lost two pounds in two weeks. You know? And you really didn't do anything to change your life. You really didn't do anything to change your diet. You just made sure that you didn't eat as much the past two or three days. Then you're wrong. Okay? Plain out. I'm just putting that out there because I know people have done it in the past. Okay? I'm not, I'm not accusing anyone of doing it. I'm just saying that's what a lot of times what people do. Okay? They'll do the bare minimum. And then when they get closer to the weigh-ins, they know two weeks is coming up. They know I'm going to weigh them in. They want to do the measurements. They start really nailing down. I'm going to tell you what. That's the lazy is shit you can do okay do the extra stuff to get the full effects of the program okay nutrition your the, the effectiveness of the program the effectiveness of the workouts how it works for you what results it what results it brings you is directly correlated with your nutrition how bad or how good it is if you have a shitty workout it's because you're eating shitty if you have a great workout it's because you're eating good all right same thing Everything is correlated to nutrition, all right? So if you don't have that down, you need to get it down now. I'm telling you, it's it, 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 it's going to come to a head, okay? You're going to be with me four, five, six months, two years, and you don't look any different than when you first walked in. But if you do look, did look different, you gained it all back over the past few months, and now you're just right back at your starting point when you first came and saw me in the, first, in, in the beginning, okay? You don't want that. You want to keep going down. You don't want to keep going up. So put your bullshit aside for a minute. Get with me if you need help. I'm here for you. Honestly, for all the people that have nutrition problems and all the people that, that gain weight or don't lose any weight, you're all pretty quiet. No one gets with me about anything. It's like, oh, uh, well, it's okay. I'm okay with that. I, listen, if you're fine being the way you are and you're here to relieve stress, get a workout in and feel good about themselves, you want the endorphins, that's great. That's fine, guys. Okay, that's your thing. Great. I'm glad you chose me to be, to be a place where you – Make it like your third place is what it's called, okay? But 
if your goal is to burn body fat, burn weight, you know, get healthier, get fitter, and really get that real nuts and bolts of this program down, then you're, you're selling yourself short. You're selling your results short, and you're not using me or the program to its full potential. I don't understand why you're doing that. Okay? Get, get it together. All right? I'll help you every step of the way. I'll make you a success, but you have to want to be a success. Cool? Um, I think that's really it, all right? Um, I know I don't put enough of these out or any of these out. This is actually the first uh, video I've put out for regular challenges. I'm going to try and do this a lot more often, all right? Because I think this is actually uh, another way to kind of like keep everyone on track, keep everyone going, and kind of like the challenges. You guys know you, I know a lot of you guys really like this stuff. Um, uh, when you guys are challengers every week, I came out with a video. I can't promise it'll be every week, but I promise they will come out a lot more often, probably every other week or something like that to kind of keep you guys motivated, okay? Um, so here's a good thing, a nice little um, assignment I have for you guys, all right? Memorial Day is the end of May, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, about the end of May, okay? So listen, let me know where you want to be at the end of May, Memorial Day, by Memorial Day weekend, where do you want to be? It could be three inches down off your waist, it could be 10 pounds down, it could be 1% less body fat, I don't care. Give yourself something to aim for. If you don't have something to aim for, then you're just going through motions. And if you're going through motions, what's the point of being here? Okay, you're like a zombie, you're a robot, you're not doing anything for yourself. Okay, I don't go through motions in class, Coach John doesn't go through motions in class, we always try to bring you intensity. We try to bring you our best. All we ask in return is your best, okay, to us. If you're not giving that, please start giving it, okay? Because we bust our ass to do it for you, do it for us, okay? That means in the workouts, that means in your nutrition, that means in getting the results you came here for. All right, no one came here to stay the same. I highly doubt it. But if you did, that's fine, that's on you, whatever. But if you're not coming here to stay the same, if you came here to change because you're unhappy about how you were or how things ended up for you the past couple years, then you need to get your shit straight and get it together. Play now, all right? So let me know. Uh, you can even comment on the video below, uh, on this video, on the page, wh where you want to be in by Memorial Day weekend. I think that's roughly almost two, you got a good solid, I think, nine or ten weeks. That's plenty of time to get shit started. I've got people losing, <laughs> some of y'all were in it, some of y'all losing, on average, about 12 to 15 pounds in six weeks. Alright, there's no need for that not to happen. Okay, maybe not to the same stream, but you guys get my drift, okay? So, let me know where you guys want to be by, the, by um, Memorial Day weekend, right before summer hits. And I'll do everything I can to make you success, okay? But you have to keep to that, stick to it. Don't let anything get in your way. Stay as focused as you were when you first came in here, you know, balls to the wall, okay? All right. Any other questions, anything else, guys, email me, text me, comment below on the Facebook page, and let me know what what's up, okay? Thank you very much. You'll be my client, and I truly look forward to training you guys.